Trinidad and Tobago's netball team arrived on the island on Wednesday ahead of their three-match series against the Sunshine Girls at the National Stadium in the National Indoor Sports Center on Saturday. The Calypso Girls will be without their main goal shooter, Samantha Wallace, who plies her trade in the ANZ League, is still confident of putting up a solid performance, according to Captain Khalifa McCollin, who plays for the Collingwood Magpies in Australia. So we have a lot of new ones coming in and we have some experience in Crystal George, Afisha Noel and two others who attended the last World Cup. So we have a beautiful blend of experience and youth coming through and I think um, just expect a different brand of netball, um, very fast paced, short and sharp movements and expect some flair as well. Meanwhile, head coach Althea McCauley knows the magnitude of the challenge at hand. It's not a vocation, right? Because we are not here to participate. We are here to compete. So it could never be a vocation. It's work. We come, you know, we train for over three months and we want we come here with the expectation to close the gap in relation to the scores in the past and see where we could and try to win one. The Calypso girls will be taking part in an international series for the first time since 2019. And 18-year-old debutant Destiny Williams is ready our best and give up the best competition that we have ever put up. Also, we want to show that we have developed from back then. Um, we want to also show that we just haven't come here to just have fun and participate, but to actually give a fight to the end. Trinidad and Tobago will oppose the Sunshine Girls on Saturday, next Monday and Wednesday. And of course, those games are being played without spectators.